In today's video, I'm going to give you guys instruction how to add Freon to your AC system. Before we begin, first you want to make sure that there's no leak in your AC system and you want to make sure there's enough packed oil in the AC system. Before you begin, you want to see how much ounce or pound of Freon is needed for your vehicle. And in most cases, you're probably going to need either one of this big can right here or maybe two of the small cans. So usually when you buy these cans, it's going to come with a safety tab right over here. So what do you want to do? You want to remove that safety tab. Next, you want to make sure that you have some sort of gauge over here. So you know how much Freon you're adding into the system. So the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the AC port. You're going to have the low side and the high side. Obviously, the low side is going to have an L on it and the high side is going to have an H on it. When you're adding Freon to your AC system, this must be connected to the low side. On some vehicles, the AC ports are not marked. There is no L or there is no H. So you're just going to even have to take an uh, easy guess. So basically, this can only fit on one way, and that's going to be on the low side. So if you try to put it on the AC port and it does not fit, it's going to be on the other AC port. The next step is to start your vehicle. Turn on the AC and turn the fan all the way to max. The next thing you want to do is connect to the AC port. When you're connecting to the low side AC port, you want to pour this part over here, squeeze it up, and push it in. Once it is connected, give this can a little bit of shake. However, whatever you do, do not turn this upside down all the way. The max you can do is turn it about that much. Maybe about 30 to no more than 45 degrees. The goal here is when you are adding Freon, you want to keep it at the green line where it says filled. If, if you are squeezing it and it starts to go to the yellow or the red part, you want to release the trigger. Once you release the trigger, it should go back to filled. If you're still stuck at low, that, that means you are adding too slow. That means you need to squeeze the trigger and try to maintain it at the filled area. As you are adding Freon, you're gonna hear that AC compressor engage and turn on. Let's just say if you add all the Freon in about 18 out and you don't hear that AC compressor engaging, there is something wrong with the AC system. If you hear the AC compressor turning on, that means probably your AC system is fine and you could just go ahead and add the remaining Freon. You want to make sure to check uh, with manufacturer specification to know how much Freon again to add into your AC system. If you're not sure how much Freon to add into your system, you can now start with maybe about 12 ounces and work your way up. Again, make sure you have this gauge. So if you're adding Freon and you keep seeing, you see it that keeps redlining too much, and let's just say you add about uh, two cans of Freon already, most likely that probably the AC system is probably filled already and you can just go ahead and stop. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.